Com and see the amazing line of products they have available. Check out the patented new silver solution today. Click on the link and check out the uses for new silver solution. Order this extra line of defense today by going to supernaturalsilver.com. That's supernaturalsilver.com today. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We have initiated simulcasting the radio show at PrisonPlanet.tv. Joining us from the Bilderberg Group meeting 2009 is American Free Press writer Jim Tucker, author of the Bilderberg Group Diary. Available at Infowars.com, I would add. Jim, with breaking news on the arrest of a bunch of reporters, the police state, and the most importantly, every year, you hear it here first, inside knowledge from Bilderberg Group contacts of what's happening. We're now into the first full day of the conference. It's now 8 uh, o'clock there in Greece. Jim Tucker, tell us what's happening. Well, today, Carl uh, Bilt uh, made a speech advocating the... Uh, Turning the World Health Organization into a uh, World Department of Health, advocating uh, uh, creating, turning the IMF, International Monetary Fund, uh, into a uh, World Department of Treasury, both, of course, under the auspices of the United Nations. And, of course, this would be a giant step toward world government, something an issue that's uh, frustrated, frustrated them now for more than a decade their efforts, but whether or not they go all the way, either event would uh, represent a significant surrender of <coughs> national sovereignty. So, well, he made the case about how the world is in such horrible uh, economic shape that it takes a super agency, global super agency, to uh, fix the problem, and because of the uh, they took over their facts when they invented the swine flu disease, uh, the swine flu uh, pandemic, as they called it. He shifted gears and fell back on the old, uh, decades-old uh, Bilderberg theme of global warming. We're all going to burn to death. Well, in the hereafter, he will. But uh, Jim Tucker, I must interrupt you in the limited time we have. I know you're busy. Jim, are you telling me they said they invented the 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 latest swine flu. No, I said they did, uh, because it was Bilderberg Luminaries who first said, "Gee, we have this bad pandemic." It was not a bad pandemic. Uh, every year, on average, three hundred thousand Americans get get a flu. Every year, on average, thirty thousand Americans die of flu. Now, how many people have died of swine flu? Uh, what is too many? It does not represent a pandemic. And they admit both those are sick. So, so I see your point. And plus, they're now using it, as they've said, to set up a new world order. You're saying they're saying that internally in the meeting. Continue. What else is on the agenda? What about the global carbon tax, the global court? You said you were getting some initial reports of that. What else is on the agenda, Jim? Uh, that is on the agenda. And plus, overlooked by many people is the fact that it's, uh, some t type of a direct tax on all the world has been long on the Bilderberg agenda. There's three such bills pending before the United Nations that have been for years, and they're trying to pick a time when they can split it through without uh, doing, uh, anybody being really aware of it. Now, their favorite global tax has always been a tax on oil as a barrel head. It would start off like the income tax did, very low, maybe a, a penny a barrel. When you buy a gallon of gasoline, you would not even notice that you're paying uh, uh, two pennies to the United Nations because uh, you bought two gallons of gas. You wouldn't even know. Years ago, by you would not even be aware that when you put gas in your car or your lawnmower, for that matter, or uh, or any purpose, you are paying a tax, direct tax, direct tax to the United Nations. That's a symbol of global sovereignty. And of course, like federal income tax, would increase over the years, and people have grown. And then when they're uh, get a listing saying that 
so much federal tax, so much state tax, so much, in some cases, county tax. And, oh, yes, uh, you in tax, too. All right, Jim uh, Tucker, we got a break, quick break. You'll have three minutes. We're going to come back for another six, seven minutes and let you go. When you get back next week, we'll get the full report also coming out in AmericanFreePress.net. But he is the author of Jim Tucker's Bilderberg Diary. Absolutely essential. You can get it at InfoWars.com. Jim Tucker, a living legend, a true reporter, straw hat and all. Let me get back. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient. And today, that's more important than ever. We need to be independent. And food and water is the key. You'll never have to stand in a bread line if you have your own bread. You'll never have to go to the Superdome and beg for FEMA to take care of your family in any emergency if you simply prepare. No one is going to take care of your family in the final equation with you. You know eFoodsDirect.com is still able to ship storable food that's safe from E. coli, salmonella, genetic alteration, or Chinese imports. And they do it at almost half the cost of last year's grocery prices. Call 1-800-409-5633 or on the web go to eFoodsDirect.com. Visit eFoodsDirect.com and look over the fine list of high quality, freeze-dried, and dehydrated foods they have to offer. Watch the free videos, look at their online catalog, or give them a call at 1-800-409-5633. Again, 800-409-5633 or on the web at eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. The first step is getting storable food. In the New World Order's war against humanity, Barack Obama is the tip of the spear. We've got to give them a stake in creating the kind of uh, uh, world order that I think all of us would like to see. The Obama deception completely destroys the myth that Obama is working for the best interest of the American people. Well, Obama's already fudging. He's yeah. fudged since day one in this election. If you have a demagogue with a fanatical mass movement of personality cultures who is imposing the program of a group of extreme bankers and finance oligarchs, that's fascist. It's not about left or right. It's about a one-world government. This film documents who Obama works for, the lies he has told, and his real agenda. Get your copy of the Obama Deception today at InfoWars.com or download it in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. The Obama Deception. The people strike back. Hi, this is Peter Kronstrabel with Midas Resources. As you know, government spending is at an all-time high and inflation is on the rise. What are you doing right now to protect yourself financially? As the economy continues to deteriorate due to corporate greed and government intervention, more people will lose their jobs and worse, their life savings. Having your hard-earned money in banks, the stock market, or any other paper asset is a lose-lose deal. You'll lose on your capital investment and you'll lose purchasing power as the dollar continues to devalue. One thing is certain, having physical possession of gold and silver will guarantee that no matter what happens, your investment will never be worthless. If you've been thinking about investing in the physical possession of precious metals, I can help. Call me today, Peter Crotch Novel at 800-686-2237, extension 108. And I will take the time personally to put together a portfolio designed to protect what you've worked so hard for. Call Peter, 800-686-2237, extension 108. You've worked hard your whole life, and I want to work hard for you. Call 800-686-2237, extension 108. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. We are back live. It's Bilderberg 2009 Frontline Exclusives from the Kingpin Bilderberg Hunter. 34 years hunting these guys. Uh, he's the reason you're seeing it in the mainstream media today. And the reason we have governments going after him. Jim, one comment for you. It's up on Prison Planet. Dot com today, a member of the Dutch Parliament is asking the finance minister, the prime minister, and others, and the Queen, if they're attending Bilderberg and trying to ram through EU expansion in the Libsyn Treaty. Uh, were you aware of this uh, breaking development? Uh, not about the uh, uh, the Queen and uh, whoever, but I know that was on the agenda today, and there is much discussion about getting the Irish to sign on to the Lisbon Treaty because if, if all uh, EU countries have to endorse or it could not happen. And the Irish voted down before. They're going to try to make them vote again and torture them and pressure them into voting, reversing themselves. And the Irish did not want to surrender that much sovereignty. Of course, they've already, all those countries have uh, surrendered significant sovereignty. I mean, 
the European Parliament can make laws and impose them on member states. The European uh, uh, Court 